Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight we have a Roach Coach uh, break time episode and what we're going to do tonight is uh, we're going to make some simple soft jaws for the lathe. Um, we have a job coming up here in the shop that uh, we need these uh, soft jaws for and they're real handy to have around for certain kinds of jobs and this particular style of soft jaw is really easy to make. Um, you can, you can be fairly elaborate with these or you can be fairly simple. Uh, in general, they function the same. So we're going to show the simple ones because that's what I want to make and they work fine. And we're going to use them to um, bore a, a large gear uh, that we want to hold in a particular way uh, in relation to a surface on the gear that you can't hold um, with a normal chuck. Um, so that'll make more sense later on. So anyway, uh, um, so look, we're going to have a little bit of lathe work. Uh, I got some blanks cut. Uh, these are going to be aluminum soft jaws, by the way. Uh, I've got some blanks cut and uh, we're going to do a little bit of lathe work and uh, then we're going to hop over on the mill and we're going to do some mill work and then hopefully we'll get one uh, mounted up so you guys can see how they go on the machine. And then in another episode, um, we'll show how to set them up properly and how to bore them, um, um, bore them accurately and, uh, uh, for the job. Okay, so uh, I'm already suited up here and uh, let's hop over on the lathe and uh, let's get cracking. Okay, so we're over on the lathe here and uh, we got some aluminum here and this is a two inch diameter, uh, about 50 millimeters and um, um, they're about an inch and a half long, something like that, about 35 millimeters long or 40 millimeters long. Um, and we're going to use our, uh, and you guys have seen this before, um, this is our, uh, our turn, face and chamfer bit and uh, it'll be kind of handy for this particular job. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, let's run through one and uh, you guys can see, uh, see the different steps here. I'm using a stub drill here, so I'm not going to bother center drilling it. I'm just going to uh, start it nice and slow and then go for it. Okay. And then I'm going to swap out real quick and we're going to put a counter bore in. Actually, I need to, uh, I want to change speeds. Alright, so I'm going to zero that. Go up against that. And I have a dial on the tailstock that I'm looking at here. Alright. This is a little WD-40 here. Okay, that's that. And without a tool change, I'm just going to come up and nick that edge. And that's, that's one side of it, and then that's counterboard for uh, a socket head screw that's going to be uh, uh, one of these guys here, okay? All right, and uh, that's uh, it, and then we'll flip it around and face the other side. Okay, so we're going to um, turn these around and uh, face the back side now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our, 
our backup plate here. All right, and that gives us something to, kind of a reference surface to push those up against like so. All right, so we're gonna put one in there and snug it a little bit. And gonna use our A-bomb approved uh, knocker to zip that in there. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up here and this isn't an act, doesn't need to be an accurate number, so I'm just going to come up and uh, and I can use a piece of shim stock if I want, so I get a better feel, um, and come up and just catch that tool there. Oops. Oh, something else is touching first there. Okay. Let's just do that. All right, so I got that pinned like that, and I'm just going to zero my travel dial here. All right, and I'm going to come out, and we're just going to go right to inch and a half, which is right there, all right, and face it off. So I'll do one uh, kind of long range, and then uh, we'll do one uh, up a little closer, and I'm just going to take whatever whatever's there in one pass. Um, once again, it's not a fussy dimension. Okay, so while I'm in the center there, I'm going to use my chamfer bit here. Come in there and catch that inside. Come out here, catch that one a little bit. And that's it. And then I got five more to go. jaws off so we can get a quick measurement of the uh, of the tongue okay oh, I need to clean out in there okay so this is the the, the groove that we care about here we're get a measurement on that and um, so it would be the same as this center slot here on that. So, pretty sure I know what it is. Let's see if we can get this in there. Yeah, it's right at a half inch. These are a little bulky to get in there. Yeah, okay, I call that a half inch. All right, so we're gonna cut a half inch groove in those uh, soft jaws. Okay, so we're over here on the mill. We got this set up in a, uh, uh, a V jaw here that's up against the stop here on this side. Uh, we picked up the center and we've got a half inch tool in here. And I've, uh, I've calibrated the tool on this surface and so now we're going to cut a, uh, uh, a slot in this. And our slot is about three millimeters deep, uh, eighth of an inch. All right, so what, what do I need? I need my WD. So put a little on there. Put a little bit of the magic sauce on there. going to start with a little over a hundred and uh, I'm going to cut a slot in this direction here and then I'm going to cut this way All right, and then 
gonna come back to zero. And we'll go this way. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna drop in the full eighth of an inch and finish it up. Come around the corner here. So and then come come across this way to clean that up to depth. Okay. So a little deburring and then we can try it on the mill. Or try it on the lathe. Okay, so there's our slot that we did. We did a little deburring on it. And the idea here is um, it indexes with the with this key here. And then you know we put a fastener in here like so. Okay, and the and then what we do, I'm gonna take that out for a sec. So we have six of those, and what happens is um, you, you bore in here, like so, and you end up creating a, you know, a recess in it like that. Um, and you can drive the counter bore down in deeper if you want. There's all kinds of things you can do with these. Um, but when we have two slots, or two pairs, of, or two slots, what we can do is we can index these, so we can reuse them a bunch of times. So now I can cut here, and then I can do it again, and then I can cut here like that, right? And you know, you can put them down here if you want. So you, you can put them on all different radii. You can make them bigger. There's, there's all kinds of kooky stuff you can do, but they're, you can see they're very, very easy to make, uh, and they work really great. Anyway, so uh, you get four, four passes out of them. Now, if you just are cutting a small recess, you can always increase the radius. So there's lots of ways to reuse these once you make a set. Um, and, uh, and then in the next video, we'll show uh, how, to, how to set these up properly and bore them properly uh, to do the job. Okay? Anyway, uh, that's uh, Simple Soft Jaws. Thanks for watching.